Welcome, or indeed, welcome back to Hands on Film. Today I am excited to have with me once again a true gourmet. Anal no. beads? Why? What? You know Alan's name is not Anal Beads. We had a long discussion about it. Then what is it? It's Alan. Uh, Alan Mead. Oh yes, that's right. So, would you like to introduce the film? I've forgotten what it is. It's, um... Oh, hang on. The Pop-Tart movie. No, it isn't actually called the Pop-Tart movie, though, is it? It was some sort of documentary. No, it wasn't. Yes, that's right, about breakfast. It's called Unfrozen. No, I don't think so. It is. It's on the screen right behind you. Oh, uh, yes. So, do you like Pop-Tarts, Alan? Pop-Tarts? Yes, you know what the film is about? Well, I, um... Do you like them, Ben? Honestly, I don't know if I've ever had one. Well, there you go. But I'm not the one reviewing the film. Hey, no, uh, hey. uh, Alan. Alan isn't a professional film reviewer, you know. Yes, I know that. He is a food connoisseur. Is he, though? Well, I... I, I... Have you read his blog? What, you mean the random pictures of pieces of cake? Um, well, I... Not now, Alan. I have seen a couple of them. There you are, then. Look, can we please just get on with the synopsis? So, it is essentially a documentary on how toast was invented. Wrong. On both points. Jerry Springer is no, in charge no, of... No, what? The main character... That's Jerry Seinfeld. ...is in charge of Kellogg's. They are the dominant force in cereals. Kellogg's? Yes, the cereal company. Oh, yes. They make Frosties. They do. Uh, and Rice Krispies, uh, Corn Flakes, Alan. Uh, Bran Flakes, Crunchy Nuts... Alan! So, they hear about a potential game-changing breakfast product from their main rival. The Pop-Tart. That's right. Well, almost. As it turns out, the competitor stole Jerry's design, so Jerry enters into the race to get the product made and onto the shelves first. They hire a team of random people who seem to do very little other than creating talking pasta. Oh, Jerry buys all the sugar supply to delay their rivals, who in turn get into bed with the Soviets. Oh, I don't remember that. It was a simile. A metaphor. What was? The getting into bed. More of an expression, I'd say. Fine. Get on with it. Hmm. A metaphor. So, in a very laboured way, they come up with the design. I think yes, that... Yes, Alan? Um, well, well, uh, it is the rectangular shape with the goopy fruit filling. Yes, we know what a Pop-Tart is. They put the Pop-Tart in a toaster. Someone blows up, I have absolutely no idea why or who. There is a crazy funeral. And did I mention they made some sort of fish square which has escaped? Fish square? Uh, no, uh, pasta. Pasta? The mascots go and strike and they can't figure out the name for the Pop-Tart. It is odd, as it is on the box. Obvious, really. Thanks, Alan. Uh, you both know that the film is set in the past, so they wouldn't have known the title as they didn't have a bloody time machine. Well, that's just stupid. So the Pop-Tart gets approval as well as the competitors, but everyone likes the Pop-Tart more. Andy Warhol attempts to kill Jerry, but fails. The end. Andy Warhol? Yes. OK. That's... Just great. Uh, can we move on to the discussion? Discussion? Yes. Um, uh, OK. Any thoughts? Thoughts. How about we start with what we liked? What I liked? The cast, for example. Jerry! Jerry! Uh, uh, Jerry. Why, why are you doing that? Because of the cast. But that's for Jerry Springer. Exactly. It was Jerry Seinfeld. Aren't they the same person? What? Well, doesn't Jerry Seinfeld play Jerry Springer? Jerry! Jerry! Israel! Jerry. Israel! Please! Or the other way around. What did we think about the cast? They were great. 
OK. Oh, yes. Jerry was excellent. Ben said his name's Jerry Springer. I, I did not. Oh, what the hell is going on? And Hugh Grant, of course, was utterly brilliant as ever. This really is his golden age. And Melissa McCarthy, Jim Gaffigan, Amy Schumer. I mean, a lot of strange things happen that I had no idea about. Well, such as? Well, there were these kids that were eating out of a skip. Ah, and Christian Slater was a milkman. Oh, yes, that was a little odd. The thing is, I didn't realise what a big deal Pop-Tarts were. What? Well, I mean, until watching the documentary with Izzy. Tell me, Alan, what makes you think this was a documentary? Well, I... I, I Any I, I... negatives? I don't think you can really have negatives for a documentary, as it is just a series of real-life events. OK. So, no negatives, and the only positive you can think of is that you like Jerry Springer. Yes. I think that is reasonable. Reasonable is not how I would describe any of this. Shall we just sum up? To be honest, I really don't like Pop-Tarts. A bit too bready for me. Yes, I agree. What, and, and that's it? I mean, I'll eat one if you have it. I don't. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something. And if not, try listening harder next time. Goodbye. And we're clear. I mean, learn something. Do you honestly think anyone learned anything from that? I learned that Jerry Seinfeld played Jerry Springer in that series. Well, in that case, it's all been worthwhile. Mm -hmm.